Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Sid Meier's Civilization VI in our Glory of Rome series. We are so close to potentially getting Big Ben, which we, if we got it, it'll make up for a rather, rather ridiculous mistake of mine a few episodes back. Um, let's also take a look at city overlap here and see what we would get for various districts, district placement options. This would be a four city bonus. Hmm, if I built an entertainment district there. Let's Let's do it. It's going to remove the marsh, but that's fine. Something else was already being built there. Let's repair the workshop in London. And we are definitely going to build a mine there for Constantinople, just to make sure we have all the possible production going into Big Ben that we can. We are still working on improving farmland around Varsovia. All right, now Madrid... I've got some traders up here that I need to plunder. Good, both of them got plundered. And let's also go ahead and fire again on Vigo with this unit. Now, can I go ahead and attack here? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and split up our time a little bit. These knights are going to run in and... Awesome. Maybe take the city? No, not quite. Next turn we will. Alright, now any and all units that can fire on Madrid, I need you to do so. Alright, can't fire with you yet, but next turn Madrid should fall. An enormous and lofty column of flame allowed the people in Holt to read as perfectly at night as if it had been day. Okay. You know, I'm going to try this. <laughs> if, you've, if you've ever wondered how to pronounce that, it's Eya Fiatla Yoku. Like, the last sound is a weird, really weird sound that doesn't come to the English language naturally, but Icelandic, it's, it, uh, the Icelandic language has that sound, and it's, it's so tough to pronounce. I've tried so many times to get like more fluent with it, and obviously it's just it's a you know development thing. You know, you're learning to leak, you're you're learning to speak certain languages, and you know your body just learns to uh, contort its muscles in certain ways. Your mouth does, and it's just that sound is is tough. But uh, I'll get it eventually. Maybe we'll see. It's really cool learning how to pronounce that. And there's a guy on YouTube when the when the volcano actually erupted years back that gave a really good kind of guide on how to pronounce it. Eya Fiatla Yokut. Oh, still waiting on this guy. Let's see. Um, I was going to clear this. Let's go ahead and do it for Castro de Nogetia. I'm going to put you on production focus. All right. I need to go ahead and get this scout over across the, the water because there's a lot of goody huts I think that need to be uh, claimed elsewhere. We also are working on building our very first archaeologists, I think, in a few spots. Maybe, or not. I thought we had some training, but I guess not. Alright, so Madrid's about to fall, Vigo's about to fall. Yeah, all these cities, after Madrid falls, it's just going to be... These roads will help us carry through the territory quite rapidly. I don't think Spain's going to last this episode. We've got a few units still... Four turns away from Big Ben. I really hope we get it. Holy crap. We don't have any other means aside from new trade routes. Which it looks like we might have one. Okay, we stole some gold from the city of Monza. Undetected. Not bad. I cannot... Oh yeah, that's that's not an additional trader. I can, however, purchase the military academy for extra production in Constantinople. How lucky is that? Two turns away now from Big Ben being done. This crossbowman core needs to level up. Let's give them... Uh, damage versus land units. Let's land our pikemen. Land our musketmen. Can I just attack with this unit? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and let the knight take care of the damage here so they get lots of experience. And then we're going to let the battleship come down here. They can help us in taking these other cities. Looks like there's also a settler that I can steal from Spain as well. 
And then we're going to turn our attention towards, um, okay, good, we got that city. We're going to turn our attention towards, um, oh, where are we turning our attention? Towards uh, Arabia. Yeah, that place. All right, let's go ahead and fire on Madrid. This might, yeah, that pretty much eliminates the city from contention. Looks like we have a little bit more damage to do with the knight, but this knight can do it. So you go ahead and move in as well, and Madrid will fall. We're going to keep Vigo, and Madrid is about to become ours as well. And then it's a matter of taking Cadiz and Cartagena and moving down. Cordoba is actually going to take a little bit of effort because it's a larger city. Still need to move this frigate. We can actually do that right now. that. I only wish that I could move that frigate now so I can take that settler in one fell swoop, but I can't. Yeah, can't this turn. All right, so here's our new spy. Siphon funds as if two levels more experience. Disrupt rocketry as if two levels more experience. Let's go ahead and get the rocket scientist promotion. We're going to need that just in case. Let's go ahead and keep Vigo and, Se and Segovia, and also Mediolanum could use... Ooh, I could do another trader. Yeah, let's work on that. I do need that production bo focus in Mediolanum, but another trader is also a good thing. Let's do an archaeologist in Pella. Wherever possible, we're going to build those. Lutetia Parasorium. Um, let's do a factory for you first, but we're going to definitely need to consider another zoo. I saw that there. All right, let's do a granary in Vigo, as well as a monument. Okay, this city needs some help. Um, harbor? Yeah, there's a plus three spot. A couple of plus three spots for a harbor. All right, Segovia, why don't you just repair the water mill first? We have two more envoys, so I can go ahead and... extra faith in every holy site district if we go for that and we're going to keep moving towards Stockholm again for competing with Congo for great people all right let's do a mine there all right these roads officially belong to us now so we can come down and do a lot of damage in this area it's a lot easier to get these units into position Yep. Let's get you guys down here. Meanwhile, we have this musket bin that needs to core up and just get down here in general. This knight also needs to get down here. As does this one. I need all of my military south. I've got one crossbowman unit over here. We're about to have ballistics research so we can have field cannons. About time. So we're going to be in an even better position. Why don't you just heal up for a turn? That's fine. Alright, just trying to get some fog uncovered out here. I'm going to use this caravel to explore the African coast a little bit more. Now that I can. Yep. Food, Varsovia, you're trading with Augusta Rotom. Why don't you trade with David Victrix instead? Because that's better in just about every way. There's nothing more I can do for Constantinople. We're two turns away from Big Ben. Two turns away from another citizen as well, so that's not going to help us either. We're just going to have to see how well it goes. We do have a archaeologist training in Pella. I felt like I was training one else. Yeah, Icosium. That's right. We've got it going down there. We need another builder here in Vigo, though. We need to improve a lot of these tiles. Actually, I think the reason these tiles might need improving is Segovia might own most of them. So I need to give, give some of these to Vigo. And it should be fine. Because there's lots of improved tiles in the area. There's farm tiles in the area. The city shouldn't have trouble growing. All right, they're attacking the frigate. If they don't move the settler out of the water, I'm going to laugh. Ah, damn, they moved another horseman in to join it. That would have been nice. All right. So the battleship is on its way down. Three turns away from a water mill. Hmm. 
Hmm. What tiles belong to you? Pretty much every tile in the area that I need to improve does. So let's give you that, because you need this for Bolshoi Theater. That's going to give us additional civics. Yeah, you come down here. Crossbowman Corps, absolutely take care of that. And this crossbowman is done. Very good. Let's let this knight ride down and eliminate this guy. This knight can fortify until healed. This battleship is ready to do some damage. Alright, so Cadiz now will no longer be able to fire. Because we just eliminated its walls in one hit. That's satisfying. We can do the same against Cartagena in a coming turn here. Let's go ahead and move... All right, so we, we own the Great Library now. Didn't know that. Let's move you into position, and yeah, this Musketman. Can I still buy units with faith? I think I can. If I can just buy a Musketman here. No, I can't because there's a unit in town. What about in Segovia? I didn't mean to do that. Let's cancel that order. Put them on alert. Can I buy a... No, can't. But I can buy one up here. We've got some faith that I need to use to core some of these units up. Can I buy a knight still? Yes, I can. Not finished coring all those units. All right, Mediolanum. So that's a production trade route. Why don't you trade with Londinium instead? That's better in just about every way, as an improvement on that route. All right, we're going to eliminate units on land, the ones that can actually do damage to the frigate. Spain will die. All right, now you just have the ability to disrupt rocketry, so let's just... Why don't we have you just continue to siphon funds for now until we know more about what's going on with this player's cities, Congo's cities. This caravel has the additional movement production, so we're definitely going to use them to scout Congo's territory as much as we can. And then down here... Oh, yep. Got a lot of fog to uncover. Alright, there's that. Now that we're in the next age, or now that we've conquered this area, the roads have improved, and we're just moving a lot faster through Spain's territory. Because Spain had old roads. Spain is just not an evolved civilization for whatever reason. No, 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 Gandhi. <laughs> I didn't even look at everything he was asking me to give up just there, but that was a lot. All right, we, I think, have got Big Ben. I think we've got this. We're moving into the turn now where we will get Big Ben built unless Gandhi is there. So the extra economic policy is ours and we might be able to do something about our amenity problems. Great news, 15 turns away from the Venetian arsenal being done. Sumeria has conquered Shadet. Shadet is an Egyptian city, or maybe... Oh, Sumeria is conquering... Ooh, interesting. We might need to go to war with uh, Sumeria before we go to war with Arabia. But that, that means Arabia will be very easy to capture. So Sumeria is going to be a large endgame war. I'm excited about that. Don't watch yes. the big clock. Do what it does. Keep going. That's how you do it. All right, so now we got Big Ben, and we will have an additional economic policy slot for the rest of the game, in addition to the ones we gain as a result of... Um, words, what am I looking for? Uh, no, I didn't realize that. Um, maybe you should get on that. Um, in addition to the acquisition of a new government type. So, that's really good news. Let's see, government... Uh, let's go ahead and change policies. We have access to this new slot. Extra production towards settlers, extra culture yield from theater square district buildings. See, that's tempting. Extra production towards builders um, and newly trained builders gain two extra build actions. Extra gold from commercial hub. Uh, see, all of these are good. Um, plus one culture and plus one science from international trade routes. Each city receives plus one culture for each specialty district it constructs. Extra culture from theater square district sounds really nice, though. 
because we are dealing with Congo. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Grand Opera and get the culture yield so that we can do better in that regard. So we're at 319.7 now, but that's about to go up a good bit. I cannot believe we got Big Ben. That's great news. I was such an idiot previously with it. So we have we have the Coliseum. It's way up here in the north, which is dumb. All right. Still calculating. 319.7. Game's really got to think about it. 384.7. Your knowledge of, com of computers has advanced considerably. Very nice uptick there in culture. Mediolanum needs something new. Why don't you go ahead and get that military academy built? You need to build stuff. You're a production powerhouse city. You need to stay that way. Um, let's do an archaeologist and a quincum. Constantinopolis. Oh, I'm so proud of you, man. Yeah, let's do a stock exchange there. So we have additional gold. We'll leave Constantinopolis. Actually, wait. No, let's change Constantinopolis now to be a food focus city. It's going to take a little bit longer to build stuff, but that's fine. Alright, campus in Hanovum anywhere? Yeah, let's go ahead and build a campus in Hanovum. Why don't we do one right there on those woods? And then are you, what are you currently doing? No particular focus? Let's just put you on food focus. That's a little bit better. Doesn't really improve the campus production time to change anything, so... Alright, Aria... See, this this right here could be useful. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just put it there. It's gonna take three turns. But it'll really help with amenities in that area. Meanwhile, um, let's do a military academy in Londinium. Mediolanum can keep trading with... Actually, no, you need to trade with London. And then you can trade with Rome. How about that? It's a new trader for Mediolanum. Constantinopolis, looks like you were trading for production with Mediolanum. Yeah, you continue that trade route, please. That's a good one. Alright, we're going to explore up this direction with the Carabelle. I don't know how much we'll find, but we'll try. Don't know what was going on with the move indicators there. That was a little bit weird. Okay, so now it's time to really piss a lot of people off. So it looks like they moved the settler here onto land. So one thing I can do to capture it would be to buy a scout for 90 gold. Meanwhile, we'll eliminate that unit. Move this musketman down. Core this one up. Move this knight over, core this one up. Alright, I forgot I was going to do this. Let's go ahead and swap these tiles into control of this city. Yeah, I think all of this should go to Vigo, and that should as well. That's much better. All right, now that I've done that, you should be growing. Oh, you're occupied. Of course you are. Yeah, you're occupied. Until You're not going to grow until I've got you taken care of. That's fine. Okay, so let's see now. Cadiz, I might be able to take this turn. I'd actually be pretty surprised if I couldn't. Let's see what we can do here. All right, can't fire on you there. that. Oh, I can, I can go ahead and do my promotions for field cannons as well. Very nice. Promotion available. Perfect. Let's fire. Can I... Alright, we're not going to be able to take it this turn, but next turn, yes, we will. Actually, wait. Yes, we can take it this turn. Let's go ahead and use our battleship. And then use this night core. Promote this to a field cannon core. This is going well, as predicted. All right, are there any other units? Actually, yeah, this guy over here. Let's go ahead and make him a field cannon. We're going to keep that city. And then we do need to repair the monument there. Let's go ahead and take care of that. 
Segovia has so many unimproved tiles. We need to start working on that as well. Alright, can't do anything there yet, but we will be able to soon. Yeah, let's heal you until you're completely ready. Same with you, same with you. You'll all go on alert. You'll you'll all come back to life next step or next uh, turn, so that's fine. Yeah, it looks like Sumer is giving Arabia a run for their money. So we're gonna need to go for Sumer next. But we're still gonna go the same direction that we planned on before. Alright, Cartagena should fall next, and then Cordoba should be pretty easy. There's actually two cities named Cartagena, which kind of annoys me. I also need to bring up my map of Rome, because I'm not sure all the city names for our most recent conquests have been correct. I'll need to double-check them. I'll do that between episodes. I should have known you'd stoop so low as to use espionage against me. Remove your spies at once. I will. I apologize. I will cease these operations at once. Let's go ahead and just ignore that request. Uh, this scout needs to move on hill terrain. Crossbowman core... One additional attack per turn if unit hasn't moved. Frigate. Combat strength versus, let's say, naval units. And we do have that settler to capture, so... Let's do this. Can I fire on you? No, I can't. How about now? Well, I can't, because... Damn. Alright. Should have known that. Alright, let's... Move some of these units into position. Wow, we still actually would do a ton of damage to this city because it's so weak. Yep. Field cannon. Very good. Need to start getting my units down here. So that we can move across into new territory. Shouldn't take too long. Now, actually that battleship needs something to do. What city is this? Flevum? What tiles belong to you, Flevum? Not many. That should be yours, I think. And screw it, let's give that to you as well. You need a little love. Londinium has those, David Victrix has those. I'm, I'm fine with how England has played out. Let's do another trader in Flevum. I don't really need any, that city for anything like rapidly right now. Repair the monument in Segovia. Uh, let's run away on foot. Donatello was captured in Sydney, unfortunately. So let's see what he would be willing to give up in order to give us Donatello back. What would it take? Lots of gold per turn. Unless we gave additional resources. Spices? Alright, let's just do this. We need that spy back. I hate it, but needed to do it. All right, you're trading with Mediolanum, which is not as good of a trade route as Londinium. So go ahead and do that. And we have Donatella here, and I still need you to go steal great works, but maybe not from the same person. Maybe steal some great works from our good friend. Oh, actually, we don't know any of any of his cities that we can steal from. New Delhi, we can. Let's go ahead and head to New Delhi, New Delhi and steal some great works from them. He's already pissed at me for other reasons. All right, this battleship needs to come around and actually it can fire on Cartagena this turn. I might be able to take the city. Maybe. Oh man, I think I can take it. Let's go ahead and try. I might, might, might be able to take this city. Come on. Not quite. Not quite. Damn. Next turn, yes. I, I really thought we'd get Spain in one episode, but it looks like we're not going to. I feel like a sad panda. I could just skip their turns. I know. I don't know why I'm clicking alert every time. It's really not necessary. Let's clear all these indicators. That's that.
Interesting. All right, so the Sum there's a Sumerian scout scoping me out. Keep an eye on him. All right, we're 13, 13 turns away from the Venetian arsenal, and... Yeah, things are starting to look really good. I still have some amenity issues that I need to deal with. That's mostly war weariness, I bet. No, it's not actually. There's no... There's no war brainness going on. It's just entertainment related. Refuse deal. Interesting. All right, the Hermitage has been built, but I wasn't building it anywhere else. So that's fine. We're working on the Bolshoi Theater. I actually should. I should need to put some traders in Agrostoritum uh, Agrist just for now to get that done, because that's free. That's two free civics that I could have. Now, we were going for Stockholm to compete with. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep working on Stockholm, unless there's someone else I need to go for. Hang on, let's let's back off one and go to level three. Benefit with Kumasi, because that'll help with our culture. And then Enipons is trading with Rome. Yeah, that's fine. Stick with it. Really need our scout to get across the water here. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. I should be able to fire on Cartagena with several different units. Actually, this knight will level up as a result of this, so all well and good. And now we control mainland Europe, and it's just a matter of taking Cordoba and Cartagena in the coming episodes. Easy enough. Alright, let's eliminate that catapult. Get our scout to head out and start trying to get that settler. I want to try and get the settler before we are done with this war because we'll lose the settler otherwise. Let's go ahead and keep the city. That's Carthago Nova. That definitely is Carthago Nova too, so I appreciate that that's in the right spot. And then there's that. What else do we need? To build a harbor. Yeah. Let's do one there. Battering ram, go to sleep. Musketman core. We do need to get these units across the water, so let's get this knight in. Let's also get this muskman to move down a little farther. There we go. All right, we control mainland Europe, and also I do need to keep coring a few more units, so let's see. We need another uh, musketman, looks like. Uh, another bombard, even. So let's go ahead and buy that with faith, and we're out of faith in which to buy any more units. Let's finish up this turn, and I will stop this episode right here. Actually, wait. Promote you. Let's do that. This unit can move down as well. Okay, and, oh wait, no, that's not the end of it. What else do we have? This scout was moving across to explore America, where we should find lots of goodie huts. That's a level 3 scout, too, so we'll get additional experience and all kinds of good things. So this uh, archaeologist is about done. I'm excited about that. So is this um, bath district, so that'll help with amenities in Aria Flaviae. And we're almost done with an archaeologist in a Quincum, in Pella. So we have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things to do. Let's go ahead and say no to that. Has Sumer conquered Jeddah yet? No, they haven't. Is this a Congolese city? Yes, it is. We're going to have a lot of war at the end of this, I feel like. I, I think we're going to continue to move faster and faster as our military grows in strength. Um, we have, we're in no danger of having too high maintenance costs, so we can stay at war as long as we don't lose units and just establish a massive empire, which I think would be kind of fun. So I'll have to keep an eye on war weariness, but... Um, I like this idea a lot of just staying at war. Let's see, we have this. Yeah, I need to deal with you. All right, now, if I get this battleship over here, I need to stop. I know I need to stop. Can't actually see Cordoba. Now I can. 
Enjoy that taste of war weariness. We need to get our ranged units in the water. Right, this knight is already in the water and can land outside of Cordova. So let's do that because they could potentially take the settler. Let's get the musketman core ready to get in the water. Same with this field cannon core. And this knight can also get in the water. This musketman can come down here. This musketman can come over here. You can get in the water. Oh, also, hang on. Let's come down here. Core that unit up. Good. All right, that core is done. And we have a little bit more faith, so there's more we can do. Let's go, let's get this pikeman ready to go. No, you cancel your move. I don't need you to move any farther that way. Anything else that needs to be done? What's this builder doing? I feel like you've been waiting for a while. All right, let's choose a civic, and then we will stop this one here. Let's see. Conservation is probably a good idea. Resource management, naturalist. The extra envoys would be good too. Broadway would be good for tourism and culture victory. Let's go ahead and go for mass media so we can get these wonders before Congo does. Um, that's going to be one of the ways that we stay ahead of him uh, in the end game and then guarantee that we get all of that conflict that we've been talking about. So anyway, let me stop here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. Spain is going down in the next episode as usual. Uh, new episodes are coming out every day at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.